Hello friends, this is Irwin. Now I'm back home from Göteborg, from the boat show. Well, it was a good success. There's plenty of people. They seem all to be happy. They come from near and far. From far came two people even from London. So, just to see me. And there were many interesting people and people I haven't seen for a long time. For example, 1963, I worked on a small island, Fair Isle, between Shetland and Orkney. And then I should go back to Sweden, but I had no money, really, just two pounds. And then I came to Lerwick, and down in the harbor was a fishing boat, a Swedish fishing boat. So I thought, well, I go and talk to the fishing boat. And they were like reluctant to take me, but somehow they had some problem with the uh, engine and they wanted to make telephone calls back to Sweden. And at that time, 1963 was not so easy. So I gave them some help and they were happy with that and helped them to work on the boat too. And then it was decided, I'm going to go. Because the thing that I was so reluctant, there was another time a person wanted to come with them. But he got so terribly seasick. <laughs> so they said, we never going to have another person on board, you know, because they all get seasick. But I didn't get seasick. I got plenty, plenty of fish. And it was experience. And... Uh, when we come back to Sweden, they gave me money also. And there was enough money to buy a Volkswagen bus, a second-hand Volkswagen bus. It was a bit broken down, but I fixed it. And that was a good thing. And now that one of the crew members was there. And 1963, so it must have been like more than 60 years ago. And he must be an old man, <laughs> but he didn't look that old, you know. So we talked a little bit, but there were so many people and there was many other things happening. But the problem was driving back because it was very bad weather. Well, it was, uh, it was raining, but it was like minus three or four degrees. So when the rain came on the window, it flew to, froze to ice. And I read about that. It's got very, very, very slippery on the, on the road. So, I, and I couldn't see very good. And the windscreen wipers were not the best one. So I drew very, very slowly. So I thought, now my life is such a good thing, you know. I'm not going to take any chances, you know. Like here on land, because here on land is really dangerous, you know, with all these things, with the ice on the road and slippery and things like this. So I came back here to Westerwick last night and also in Göteborg. I met my friend, like Thomas Grahn, and uh, another man I designed a boat with, and he sailed across the Atlantic with my design. And it was a good thing. So I met many interesting people. And now here you will see some pictures from the boat show. But before that, even if there was plenty of people there, many people missed it. But there is another chance. Up in Stockholm, Elfsjö, Mars 7, between, I don't know if you can see this. So, oh, it's all the way back, backwards. My camera goes backwards. So it's uh, Elfsjö, 7 of March, and uh, 1600 to 1720. Well, anyway, you can look at the program of Butsu Alfredsson in Stockholm. So now comes some more pictures. I'm gonna put up here. Hello friends, 
Now I'm at the bar, driving all the way. Here's the car. And here they let me stay. And I'm going to stay in a hotel in the same building. Yes, here it is. My car. Very good. Oh, hello. This is the you of Göteborg from my room. And this is Mundo's own. It's a little kind of river. Before, you could go there with a boat. But now, now people don't do such thing anymore. So, anyway, they're building more and more. Hello, friends. Now we're at the boat show here in Göteborg. And this man, he came all the way from London to look at this. <laughs> and here's other people. Brooke, here. <laughs> 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 <laughs>